Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and we are going to be continuing Quantum Break, so let's get into it. Um, I, actually, I've adjusted this, the uh, audio. I'm still working hard to try to get it to be perfect. Uh, this game's audio is a bit different than any of the other games I've Let's Played uh, or done a walkthrough or done anything where I had to have the audio perfect. And so it's taken me a little bit longer to figure it out. It's a little bit quieter. Uh, I usually have my game volume on my PVR at about uh, a fourth or a fifth of the voice volume. But that hasn't worked for this game. The, the sound effects are also a lot louder than the voices in this game. So it's really hard to actually kind of get it narrowed down. Here is how it looks right now, and we'll see. Uh, I've got 10% sound effects, 30% music, 100% dialogue. And on my screen, or on my PVR, the game is about 50% the sound of the voice, uh, which is, you know, way higher than normally have it. So we will go ahead and see how this works. Let's hop into it, though. And obviously, I will continue to tinker with it. Um, it's not bad right now. Episode 1 wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. Um, so we'll just keep working on it, and I'll hopefully get it all figured out here soon enough. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. I thought it said end of Act 1. We're on the Hardline PR Act 1 Part 4, but I thought we had completed Act 1. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. All clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. This is kind of cool. We're playing this Paul now. This is the chick that talked to, uh... Sir. To Jack at the beginning. This? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. That's cool that they added that. If you look at her foot in the back, it's like a nervous twitch. Like, you know, I think it's more of a thing with, like, my age, like, 20-year-olds. We need your decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. Hey, homie, I'm trying to explain something. Like, we have, like, that nervous light, or not nervous, but, like, a leg shake. It's kind of cool that they added, like, a nervous twitch, but, um, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Junction impacts. The junction power reveals two potential futures. 
Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. Hold to show hard line, hold to. What does that mean? What? How am I supposed to. Alrighty then. We're going. I don't know what to pick. I get like no input here. On, I'm going hardline. No regrets. Hardline. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles. Eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. Oh, I okay. I get it. I okay. I I understand. Okay. We're restarting that checkpoint because I, I I get it now. I finally put it together in my head. Hard, I get it. PR is public relation. Okay, I put I put it together in my head. I want to do the PR because if I was an evil dictator like this, that's what I would do. I would go PR. My powers grew stronger even as the Cronon syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. I'm stupid that I didn't put this together in my head, but I, I get it now. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a sting. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce. We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. OK. Oh. Okay, uh, choose a PR approach, he manipulates media to frame Jack Joyce as a civilian, or as the villain in the university, and, okay, so we can look at Hardline, too. This is Any cool. potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a Hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Um... I would choose the PR by the... I'm gonna take this as the point of... I'm gonna take this, um, the, this decision as if I was the bad guy, not that I'm Jack and I'm, I'm making the decisions for the band. I would actually take the PR if I was playing as Jack, like if I was using the mind of the good guy uh, in this scenario, I would pick Hardline because I would get new, I would get allies, people would turn on them, uh, but we'll go with PR uh, for the simple reason that that's the more intelligent move for the, for the bad guys, so we'll go with that. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Okay, hold on. We're gonna pause this right here. Is this one of those games that's gonna make me play it through twice? I, I just gotta check this. Or, you know... Not. Uh, it's probably, you know what, I bet they're smarter on the Xbox One where they, 
with their achievements, they'll let they'll say the different paths, but you only have to choose one of them to actually get the achievement. I'll just roll with that idea. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Okay, Junction 1 PR. You chose to have Serene take the PR approach. So 75% of my friends chose that, and 70% of the community chose that. 